What is good friends, we are back and we got lefties versus tricking. Team France is a lefties and Team Italy is tricking. And we got not Venus Stila this time, we got like Stila with <laughs> Reuniclus and lefties brought rain. With a duck trio, so the Zemo of users either gonna be the Dougie or the type of Coco, I assume. Rain with Mega Scissor, haven't seen that in a while. So he has only one rain abuser, so this could be Specs Pelipper. Tricking's team is like pretty simple to break down. It's gonna be Rocks Club Fable, uh, Comet Reuniclus, Z Move Bulu or Z Move Zygarde, but probably Z Move Bulu and Bandit Zygarde, uh, Choice Scarf Greninja. And Spadev Celestila. I think that's it. Like those two months are Fist Death, this one is Spadev. And Scarf Grin makes the most sense to me. Like I think he needs some speed control. He switches out, fearing a potential content on the crush turn one. As there's the Bloom Dome expertly scouted by lefties. Grassy terrain helping out the scissor. So you can just go for U turn here with the scissor to get momentum. That was a really nice play turn. One by lefties. I think lefties is one and oh. He played versus Zomok last week. Was it last week? Was it this week? I don't remember. I think it was last week. He did just SD predicting. I think he predicted the U turn. <clears throat> yeah, not sure if Hydro Pump even kills this, but he, he probably has Ice Beam, so Ice Beam should be able to kill this. So this is a bit tough for tricking because if he predicts ice beam, if he predicts ice beam, he's completely fine, and he can go into Celestia. But what if what if he goes for hydro pump and he switches into Celestia and he takes like five million? So like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Specs Kingdra. I mean it's pretty standard on rain, right? And that would have been a cool play if it did anything at all. Like they think the SD basically doesn't do anything. I, I get what they mean. Like he's kind of forced out here. I do want to know how much Hydro Pump would do though. Uh, King Draw versus Chop Bulu in the rain. Hydro Pump does 66 to 78. So Hydro Pump would be a roll. So Ice Beam is the correct play, not risking anything. Like you don't play around with a plus two type of Bulu. I agree with that play. <laughs> ABR is like ask for Italy's score and then they said 15 and 8 and ABR said 15 and 9 now. <laughs> wait, 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 what the fuck? Grassy Seed Reuniclus? I've never seen that. That is interesting. So it gets a defense boost in Grassy Terrain, interesting. Hmm. This is obviously locked into Ice Beam, so. He can try to calm my up. This Reunix is actually really scary, that is correct. How is he gonna beat this? Like I assume his scissor is gonna be... Like if his scissor has SD, maybe he can do good damage to Reunix class. But if it's not, how is he gonna do damage to this? With Z-Move Tapu Coco? Like if this gets up multiple combines, Hydro Pump isn't gonna do enough. Like I can show you guys. I'm assuming this is max defense. Let's say he gets up two combines, right? Versus Kingdra. Like if the Kingdra comes in back again. Hydro Pump does 48 to 53 if he gets up two combines, if he's fist up. <clears throat> uh, one thing that might be a bit big, like... He's lacking leftovers, which might come into play. But he does have a defense boost. Um, I assume there's a Z Thunder type of Coco. He might also pack Taunt to like stop this. He just goes hard for Thunder. That did a lot. So if he has Z Thunder, he can go for that here and blow something away. Unless Tricking goes into Zygarde and predicts that. But if the Reunicus gets forced out, it loses its defense boost and it also uses the comment loses the comment boost, obviously. He goes for U turn, potentially predicting him to go Zygarde. I think Tricking. 
I don't know if Trigon was banking on a Thunder Mist there, because the, the Rangers ran out. I, I really thought he would have gone for the Thunder there, but maybe he was fearing the Zygarde, like I said, in the back. The Zygarde in the back. <clears throat> if he specs, he can just go Pelipper here, right? Otherwise, I think he's gonna go into Scissor and U-Turn. But yeah, this really because it's a problem. I assume that Tricking just went for Recover here. If he had Taunt on his Tapu Coco, maybe he should have gone for that, but I don't know his set. <clears throat> so he goes Pelipper. And he is... Ah, yeah, that's, I think that Specs did it so much. That did 65. Holy shit, and he misses. Come on. Damn, that's ass. He does hit the next one. He's just gonna spam recover, because if the rain runs out, he beats this Pelipper 101. If he didn't dodge that one Hydro Pump, this uh, this game probably would've been over. But now it's looking kinda bad for lefties, as he goes Duggy. So I assume this is Z ground Duggy then. Oh, is it Sash? He just went for recover. If it's Z move, this is gonna get, do a lot. He's Z move, nice. This is gonna do a ton, dude. 89% bop. So that's why he didn't go for the Sunder with the Coco, because he didn't have it. He's gonna U-turn here. Tricking decides to preser preserve his um, Reuniclus for later as fodder. <clears throat> if Lefties has Roost, he can click that, because it would cover the Protect play, and it would cover the Zyga play. Whew, immaculate. Comedy prediction, lord. I mean, that just felt like a really good play if you had Roost. <clears throat> So you can potentially go into the Reuniclus breaking Leech Seed here, so I would always attack exactly. Lefty's the GOAT. Whew, nice play. Yeah, this game is over. Like, Lefty's played this... Like... Some might say he had matchup a bit in his favor, but I think he played this pretty nice. <clears throat> so he doubles out into... Into Zygarde from his Celestila. He can't really lock himself into Outrage because that would just let the Feral Water Coco in for free. If this is Timid Pelipper, and now uh, Zygarde should still be faster, but can Zygarde kill the Pelipper? That is my question. Uh, where is this Zygarde Choice Bandit? Let's take the bulk away. Uh, it does it, it can actually lift one so he's probably just gonna go for hydro pump here and he does miss holy shit that sucks I can call it that real quick for you guys that would have done a lot uh, let's say timid let's say a hydro pump and let's say 252 special attack that would have done 63 to 75. So he goes hard into Kindra, and I think you just click Hydro Pump here, right? Yeah, because in case he goes Clefable, they did so much to the Greninja. Whew. Scarf Greninja might outspeed the Kingdra if it's modest. I don't remember the Kalk. I used to run that Kalk once if Greninja can outspeed Kingdra. Yeah, I think if the Kingdra is modest, which most Kingdras are, Greninja can, can outspeed it if it's Scarf. The thing is, it's a bit risky here to go for U-turn if he has that, because the Ferrazon would kill you with Iron Barbs. Tricking dodged like 300 pumps so far, or did he dodge two? Yeah, he just hard it out into Celestia, breaking the Ferrazon, which is a nice play because the rain is gonna end. He's just gonna go back to Pelipper. Um, Tricking might go for Leech Seed here, predicting the Pelipper. You can also double back into Zygarde, that's a really nice play. But he does go Coco. So if this has HP eyes, mm -hmm. I don't think HP eyes would kill from 87. Zygarde has a pretty nice natural bulk. What's Zygarde Spidev? 95, but it has 108 HP. Man, this is kind of tough for lefties. 
Because something is getting to it KO'd here if he can't kill the Zygarde, which he probably can't, because otherwise he would have already clicked it. Yeah, he just U-turns out. Why am I lagging? That's not funny, by the way. Let me just close some tabs in the back. Do you sack the Pelipper here or do you, he goes Scizor? This is gonna get Tweet KO'd I think, yeah. So you can get some bullet punch chip damage. Now he can either go Pharaoh or, oh he goes this. So this makes me think that he has HP eyes and he just wanted to bring it in range. So this game is not over yet. The Hex was pretty, ah, oh, the Hex was pretty annoying. He does hit a Thunder and that does so much to the Clefable, it's, it's probably a Cl Fist Death Clefable, the standard set. Stealth Rock Softball Moonblast in the last let's see, a knockoff of Flamethrower. Goes back into Zygarde, but Zygarde dies to HP eyes. Like he can go for E-Speed and get up some chip damage, but I don't think that matters, like... It's not like Tricking can pivot into anything else. I assume E-Speed would do around like 50, maybe a little bit more. Man, that zap late. And he got muted for 7 minutes, set speculation. I don't know if I talked about it yet, but do you guys remember when Smoke just chat, when like everyone was allowed to like talk about sets and you didn't get warned back in the day like a few months or a year ago I mean I don't know what this pivoting accomplishes is he trying to pp stall this type of coco I mean if he dodges a thunder it's gonna be pretty annoying for lefties because I think that's his only electric move that he has the boy really trying to stall him out he has 11 thunders left Mens is really gonna keep doing this Hard back to Zygarde. <laughs> this boy doesn't care. I mean, I agree with Left, he's just playing it safe. Eventually, he will over predict. Or, like, even if he doesn't, like, even, yeah, I see, eventually he will stay in, that's what I'm saying. That Thunder actually didn't do that much. Wow, this is definitely Max with Death Shadow Stealer. Is this Coco even max special attack that bounced off? So this Kingdom is gonna go for pump here. I assume it will do around like 40%. Maybe a little bit more maybe. Maybe like 44. He does sack off the Greninja. Thankfully he connects. Oh he just went for Skull this time. He said I'm not missing again boy. You've touched enough. This is in range from the die from rocks. So there's no point in switching out. Yeah, he's just going to click HPIs, there's really no point in over predicting. Tricking going to click protect here. I'd like to turn his back up. Oh yeah, the Thunder earlier did a little... Oh, nice Roost play on protect. The Thunder earlier didn't do that much because there was no electric terrain. And Coco doesn't have that much special attack. And he HPIs... Ooh. Lefty's had enough of tricking, like pivoting around this boy. He just pulled the trigger, he just made the prediction. He said, not with me, dude. And France picks up the win over Italy. Damn, those games today were super cool. Those last three games I recorded. No stall. Fast-paced games. Let me pause real quick and I'll be right back with the score. Yeah, so I think Italy is 15-9 and nine now. And France is like 13-6. And, and I think you guys for watching and goodbye.